giving her shit, and we go in the script. First, I tell you I buy today, so order whatever you want to eat and drink. Shindy has a shoot today. Oh, okay. I looked at the menu. Soya was constantly glimpsing at Tay. Even when we ordered and sipped our drinks, Soya never left her seat. Hmm. So I just sat still and kept talking about Tay. And I was busy cramming all the new information into my head. I just sat there listening and ended up not even mentioning what was happening to me. <sighs> well, I should go now. I think it'll get dark soon. Ugh, yeah. Are you leaving too? I think I'll take some things to go and leave. Then I like to wait, but I'll go first. I should walk slowly since Tay's at the counter. Yeah, okay. So I blushed and got up first. I have a feeling. I sat by myself for a while and organized my thought. But nothing was organized. Organizing is possible only when there are a lot of things scattered around. But there wasn't anything in my head. Just an empty white space. I ended up getting up without accomplishing anything. Do you need something? When I walked towards the counter, Tay smiled at me. This. Cookies? Yeah, I'll take one. I picked up a cookie and put it on the counter. Mm. Tay just stared at me. Is it for someone? Yeah. Red. Huh? I flinched at the unexpected name that just came out of my mouth. I feel like my mouth just said it without my head processing it. Red. Right, I think red like this. I see. Tay didn't ask anyone, just quietly helped me pay. How are you getting home? Should I take you? No, I know the way. Tay asked with worry, but I politely refused. He's probably worried because I fainted yesterday. I finished paying and put the cookie into my bag. I wanted to ask him about the letter, but I didn't, thinking it might trouble Soy. I was about to leave the cafe when I felt a stare. I turned around and saw Tay smiling and waving at me. I waved back and said bye. Now then, sh I should head home. All I have to do is go back the way I came here. The sun was already setting. It's pretty late. <sighs> Suddenly I was scared that I might not find the way back home. It wasn't because I didn't remember at this moment. It's because I always forget in the middle somehow. I felt more scared to think that. Would it be better to tell someone? If I cause harm to someone by not remembering, that thought made me more anxious. So I decided. As soon as I get home, I have to be honest. They'll all be so surprised when I tell them there's a problem with my memories. But they'll be less confused when I lose more of my memories next time. When things get serious, someone will be able to take me to the hospital. If I'm sick, I'll get better someday. Huh? Uh-oh. Where am I? I was thinking this and that and later realized I wasn't an unfamiliar path. No. Is it an unfamiliar path? For some reason. I have a strong sense of deja vu. Um. I think I've been here before. 
Where the hell am I? I slowly looked around. Uh-oh. Be honest, how do you know him? You guys aren't anything weird, are you? If it is, then we won't stay still. I don't want to see you surrounded by the hot five and get treated in a special way. Uh, the horrible headache overwhelmed me again. I couldn't stand it and dropped to the ground. Now I was more resentful than scared. Why does this have to happen to me? What did I do wrong? My memories wash away every day and I've been desperately clinging onto them to live. I want to cry besides this feeling. I think something bad happened to me in this alleyway. An upsetting black cloud overwhelms me. I feel like I can hear the girls laugh while pushing me to the wall. How did I escape that that day? I couldn't see anything in the darkness. I need light. Someone, someone save me. Save me. A small voice forced its way through my lips. Is this what I said in the past? The past I don't even remember. Or else... Red, save me! Why is this happening to me? Save me, Red! Before I knew it, I wasn't just repeating my cloudy past. I really meant it. My voice grew louder. You came to save me! You told me you'd always be by my side! Save me, please! I clutched onto my pounding head and screamed. But everything was silent. If I lose my memories, what does that mean? I'll have to lose my future as well. I feel like I'll have to wander around this place and never ever escape. Why is this happening to me? I ask myself the same question I've asked a million times before. Why the hell is this? That is because you do yeah, not you. remember. I hear that voice again. What the hell does it want from me? Who the hell are you? Who are you? Uh, are you okay? What the hell? Hold on, of course this way. Here, take my arms. Someone grabbed my arms and forced me up. Who the hell is that? Uh, this is... I saw a familiar figure and missed my trembling vision. The man with black hair standing right in front of me seemed worried as he looked down at me. Who are you? What? Who? I don't know anything. We'll take, we'll, ta we'll take later. We'll talk later. First, let's go home. The man led me out of the alleyway. This is bad. Led by the man I got in a limo. The interior was familiar for some reason. The man with the black hair held the steering wheel. He smoothly started to drive. The headache slowly going away. I looked at the man again. This time, I could see him more clearly. Y Yuri? Yuri. Mimosine. Music teacher drums. The pieces of information that were buried deep creeped into my head. I could see his face through the riverview mirror and he looked gloomy. Are you hurt anywhere? I have a slight headache, but other than that, I'm fine. I said while rubbing my head. His light-colored eyes peered at me. Yuri erased all the expression from his face and was drowned in his thoughts. What's he thinking? I don't know. There's no way I can read someone else's thoughts when I'm this confused about myself. I didn't bother to stop my eyes from closing. The engine noise gr gradually fades away. So sleepy. Oh, dear God. Hmm. When I opened my eyes, it was already dark. This is 
my room. Still nothing. How did I get here? I must have fallen asleep. How long has it been? A couple hours? No, actually. It can be a couple days. Since I can't trust my own memories. Thirsty. I felt thirsty and got up. I should go to the kitchen and at least get a glass of water. God damn, this is pressuring me. Take this! It's scabular bear! I have barrels of justice too! Huh. Kids, you can't fight with the toys. Where are your parents? The department store will close soon. Mom's still shopping for clothes. She'll be back soon. Hey, can we become justice warriors if we get this toy? Yeah, I saw it on TV. Then let's ask Mom.